Now we're somewhere in Hungary. We were supposed to take the Euro City train, but for some reason we are on a bus whose name we don't even know. Listen to what happened. Hello, I'm Tsubasu. This is Budapest, Hungary. Tomorrow we are moving to Vienna, Austria, where it's on the upper reaches of the Danube River. There are several ways to get around, but this time we have chosen to take the train. We purchased a UL Global Pass, which is a good value train pass for international travelers. We got its first class. UL is top on my list for this trip. With the pass, you can ride as many trains as you want on the days you designate it. But you may need a seat assignment depending on the train and class. The first class basically requires an additional seat assignment fee. We're gonna take the Euro City train at 10.40 a.m. departing from Budapest Kaliti station. We got the without seats more than two months ago. In short, our travel plans are perfect. I'm so excited about tomorrow. Oh yeah, yippee! Good night, yippee! Good morning, yippee! This is the best morning of my life ever. We'll take a local bus to Budapest's largest terminal station. We still have two tickets for the local transportation left, but I will take them home as a souvenir. This is Budapest Kaliti Station. We're here quite early just in case because this is the first time for me to use the UL Mobile Pass and also want to sit in around the station. This magnificent station building was built in 1884 and designed in combining several styles. Today, many international trains to and from Budapest depart from here, Budapest Kaliti Station, which is also called the Eastern Railway Station. There are several stores in the station, I went down to the basement. It's connected to some local metal lines. This place is so peaceful. Sorry, the scene has suddenly changed. It is now past more than 30 minutes since the pigeon's clip. Let me explain about the blank history of 30 minutes. I noticed something as I was traveling around the station and its surroundings. The electric boat did not show the train we were going to take. I had heard that trains are often late in Europe, but just to be sure, I went to this office and asked them about it and I found out that the departure station of the train we were going to take had been changed, and I was told that there was a substitute bus. However, the departure point of the bus is not here, Budapest Kaliti station. There are two terminal stations in Budapest and it was the other one, Budapest Nugati station, which is also called the Western Railway station. We had only 30 minutes at the time. I also asked what number of subways we should take, and I already knew the direction I had just explored the station after all. And we miraculously had city transportation tickets, so we were able to get the subway right away. And finally, we arrived at that substitute bus stop just as the door of the bus opened. I just confirmed with the driver where it was going and quickly boarded the bus. According to this paper, this bus left at 10.10, but to be exact, I think it was just one minute late in leaving. 
I looked at my smartphone many times in the subway, but we arrived at Budapest Nugati station at exactly 10.10. And here we are now. Well, I don't even know where we are though. I have never been so glad to have studied English as I am today. If I had used my smartphone to translate, I would have missed it 100%. I have used conventional paper UL passes before, but this is my first time using the mobile pass. I didn't expect that the first one to ride with the pass would be a bus. It's UL bus. Where is my first class? Alright, the departure station of the train we have reserved seats for is now Tata Banya. The section from Tatabanya to Vienna seems to run as scheduled. In fact, I still don't even know why the service was changed. I didn't have time to ask such things. And where is Tatabanya? I've never heard the place name of Tatabanya before. This was an unexpected event for me, but the bus ride was not so bad. I felt a little bit deprived because it's not the first class seat, but the view was great. Anyway, I had to reconfirm it the day before. I still make this kind of mistake even though I've traveled to about 40 countries. We arrived at Tatabanya Station. Unlike Budapest, Tatabanya Station has an atmosphere of countryside. A non-electric board shows the UR city train we are taking. The train has already arrived. The sign still says departing from Budapest Kaliti station. MAV stands for Hungarian State Railways. UR city is basically an electric locomotive pulling coaches. The maximum speed is about 200 km per hour. There are many sections where the locomotives are replaced by faster ones today. First class is usually the car number one. It is the last car, but it's an intermediate car that can be connected. Japanese trains don't have an intermediate car at the end of the train very much, so this alone gives us a kind of exotic feel. Now, we're finally boarding the train. We reserved two window side seats in this six-person compartment. It looks nice. It is overhead shelves. There is also a mirror, for some reason. This is what the seats look like. We have two overhead shelves, one large and one small. Is this a reading light? It didn't work. Only the window seat has a table. It's sometimes maybe a little dirty, but it's no problem at all. I don't know, but maybe Japanese Shinkansen's are too clean. It's useful that a trash can is attached. This is probably the air conditioning. The temperature inside the car was always comfortable. The armrests are movable. There are power outlets and USB ports. I'll go to the restroom before leaving. By the way, the doors of the compartments can be closed, but they're transparent and do not block the view. And I'm just wondering if there is a place to put my large luggage, but I didn't find it. The restroom was located at the end of the car. It was clean enough. Smoke glass makes the room bright. The wash stand is spacious. Come to think of it, I don't think I saw much graffiti in the center of Budapest. 
I wonder if they take some kind of countermeasures. We are departing. I don't know anything about Tata Banya, but I will never forget the place name forever. Tata Banya became one of the winkers in my brain that day. By the way, a person difficult to work about it later in the same compartment, so we made sure that our luggage would not get in their way, like this, but we had no problems, on the contrary, comfortable. After all, first class seats are so spacious, it was good too I had gone to the restroom before that. The conductor comes to check your train tickets. If you have a mobile pen, show the QR code of the app. And if you have a seat reservation, show it too at the same time. Now let's have a snack. The reason I chose the mobile pass instead of the paper pass this time is just because it's cheaper. But the mobile app is still a bit inconvenient. You cannot select your seat on the same app. You have to do it on the website after validating your pass and designating the train. This time I booked it through a Japanese travel agency. They gave me a paper seat assignment ticket. I wanted to ask about which seat I should choose. We had a view of the Danube River. On the other side is Slovakia. It was cloudy, but we enjoyed the view. We stopped at some stations. This place is called Gyul. But, um, I've already almost forgot it. The compartment door is transparent so we can see the window view on the other side as well. The seats were actually very comfortable. The ride was about 2 hours, but I think I fell asleep a bit. There were several stops along the way. Now, we're about to cross the Austrian border. Looks like we're already over it. I was looking at the window as having Google Maps on my smartphone, but I couldn't tell where the border was. Anyway, we're now in Austria. I'm so excited about my first time in Austria. I love pretzels in Austria. I found a lot of wind turbines there. Of course, no kangaroos. It's starting to rain. The scenery suddenly turned urban and we arrived at Vienna Central Station. That is a huge station. And it feels modern. It was fully opened in December 2014, not even 10 years ago. It was raining, but once I went outside, Hauptbahnhof seems to mean the central station or terminal station. It is directly connected to the local subway station in the building, so we don't have to walk in the rain. I wonder if it's customary to stand on the right side on the escalator. A single ticket for city transportation costs 2.4 euros. I have already felt that prices have changed. I wonder how they did the graffiti in that place. This train will take us to our reserved hotel. We had some unexpected events, but in the end, we arrived on time as planned. It was all in all a good experience. I'm gonna share the Vienna vlog in another video. Hit the subscribe to the channel and the like button as well. See you soon!